broadcasting in Europe. Um, they were asked to come up with rules that protect all incumbents. Not to find minimally restrictive <coughs> rules that protect all incumbents. It's a critical difference in wording. Uh, so without that qualification, minimally restrictive, uh, they've come up with maximally restrictive rules that will essentially require all unlicensed devices to connect to the internet to look up permissions in a database of geographic locations, um, which is going to be called unlicensed, but in fact is a draconian expansion of regulatory powers where the regulator's long arm reaches into your device and controls the on-off switch. Um, now, this development of geodatabase lookup potentially has a lot of implications for unlicensed uh, wireless. It may mean, it may mean in the future that uh, rural Wi-Fi doesn't have to uh, have the same power limits as urban Wi-Fi. <coughs> the devices know where they are, and they can consult a permissions database. It might be that in rural areas you'll be able to operate at a higher power. So that could be a very good thing. Um, but anyway, this is, I just wanted to mention that, that the European rules for white spaces are going to come out in September. Um, I have been hopeful, in fact, it was the Open Spectrum Alliance strategy, that we would let the report come out, be visibly a disaster, so the commission would say, no, 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 this is, this is ridiculous. We're not getting any benefit from the digital dividend. Do it again. But in just in the last two weeks, I was able to talk to the head of the Radio Spectrum Policy Group in, in Brussels, and I understand the politics of this a little better now. It's not going to happen. The report will come out. It will be a disaster. It will be stuck with the rules, largely because Google and Microsoft have said to the Commission, we really don't care what rules you adopt, just adopt them quick. And so they will. And the rules will require unlicensed uses to, to use a database, probably maybe, uh, uh, run like a DNS or maybe the Google people will get the control of the, the databases here. It's a powerful new tool for regulators to allow unlicensed use of spectrum with variable power levels and geographically sensitive uh, variations, so we might be able to exploit that. Um, but even the sensing uh, dimension of you know, being able to sense the spectrum have the device be smart enough to decide whether it can use the frequency or not. Um, the thresholds that they're talking about are so low that as, as British Telecom uh, said, uh, it will look to the wireless devices as if every channel is full because the threshold is so low. It will even pick up background noise as a possible distant transmitter and tell the device, no, 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 you can't use this frequency. Somebody, somebody somewhere might be using it. So the great, the great hope that I think the open spectrum people had had was that smart radios able to manage their own frequency selection would grow out of the TV spectrum and become available in other parts of the spectrum. That ain't going to happen in Europe. It still might happen in the US. That's right.